In today's video, we are breaking down Marcellus Howard's basketball shooting form. He is, of course, a YouTuber who has a lot of subscribers, and of course, I want to critique his shooting form. So let's get down, let's check it out. Definitely go check out Marcellus Howard's YouTube channel, and from there, let's go and check out how he shoots. Well, we, uh, we can see that he is tilted away from the basketball net, and he has an actual very wide stance. If we look at his shoulders down, he actually has a wider stance than his shoulders. This is actually for a lot of play people and a lot of players to give themselves more power into their shot. When he rises up into his shot, he tends to bend his elbow on the way up and he brings the ball up the middle of his body up into his set point. From there, we can see that his left foot is the last foot that actually touches the ground, pushing him off from the ground, which means to me that he has either a weaker right leg or a possible previous injury in his right leg potentially that's why I shoot more on my left side than my than both at the same time because I've had my ACL MCL and, and meniscus torn and I have a lot stronger left leg so this could be a potential why I know he has had knee issues before I've watched a few of his videos so that potentially could be why but when he goes up into his set point we do see that his shoulder is in line with his elbow which gives him that straight shot or I shouldn't put the arrow that way but straight shot but from there we also see that his hand is actually quite quite wide on that ball and it's his pointer finger and also his thumb that actually pushes that ball up because his set point tends to be right in front of his face and you usually want to have that ball either over top of your upper arm your shoulder or your elbow and that will give you a nice straight shot however players who cannot get that ball up to shoot from there they will usually use a thumb flick or something similar to get that ball up at the last second so that it is over top of the elbow which we do see pretty well here I am in the same same boat, I use a thumb flick, Steph Curry uses a, a thumb flick, Kyrie Irving uses a thumb flick, many good players do use a thumb flick, but if you are using a thumb flick, generally what happens is there's not much arc, but also not much backwards rotation on the ball, and if you find that's the case, you're using too much of a thumb flick, and you either need to cut down or get rid of it totally. When we see him release the ball, we'll use a different shot to see which finger he releases from last. We can see that he holds that release nice, and we actually have the elbow above the forehead, and he actually tilts farther away from the rim when he does shoot that ball, and I'm going to say that that's a nice shot. Now when he does release that ball, we can see that he actually has his left hand actually go out towards that right side. However, that's not going to affect his shot because we can see in this clip that he actually flicks forward, but after that release, his arm tilts away from the rim. That's not going to affect his shot at all, but it is noteworthy. Now in this clip, we really want to focus on his shoulders. They are over his knees, but they are not over top of his toes. He's really tilting forward, trying to get a lot of power into his shot. He is stepping maybe about three quarters of a foot to a foot beyond the three-point line, so he is looking to get more power into this shot. However, what we want to look at in this shot is his actual release. And of course, we can see that here, it's his middle finger that does release from the ball. We can see that quick blur of the middle finger right there. And when he does release, it is it does seem to be a soft release, which will allow him to get more arc on that ball, but less backspin. And we can actually see that in a lot of the clips that we look at. He was short on this shot, which means that he needed to use more legs. And now if you remember earlier, he had a wider stance. This could be why he missed this shot short, is because he brought his stance in to shoulder width. If he was to actually have it a little bit wider, he might have actually made that shot. Now, something that he does do a lot is, with his shot, he, uh, he will actually do a fadeaway. And what he does a lot in his one-on-one -on -one and two-on-two -on -two games is a quick crossover, and then he does almost like a fake spin that he turns into a fadeaway shot. He jumps off of that right foot, he gets that left leg up to create space, but it's to actually try 
and protect himself from that defender. But what we can see here is that shoulder being in line with that elbow and that ball is still in the middle of his forehead. He still pushes off with that thumb. But that was actually a very good shot. We can see that hard release right there, which turns into a soft release, which means that that shot alone should be a lot of arc, but he does tend to miss this. What I would have tried to do if I was him, because he missed it on the right side, and he does tend to, from what I've seen in a lot of other video clips, he tends to miss the right side of the rim a lot on this fadeaway shot. If you're in the same boat, what I would do on your fadeaway is... If you're a left-handed player, is to try and get your right side turned a little bit more towards the rim. That would then be able to push that ball a little bit more left and you would be able to make that shot a lot more consistently. Now, I would really like to have a good one-on-one -on -one tournament against other YouTubers. That would be a lot of fun. We should all do that someday. Maybe if anyone who's watching this video can go contact your other favorite YouTubers and say, hey, let's get a game going and let's get something, just a big tournament going with all the different basketball YouTubers because I would like to see how I rank up against some of the better ones. Let's basically hit that like button, subscribe, and of course, if you like this video, if it has helped you, comment below, and I'll see you guys again next time.